Greetings, this is Jared Love, and in this video I'm going to go over some of the tools related to this personal rigging system I've been developing. I've done a video that kind of goes over some of the controls in the resulting rig from this system, so I'll encourage you to go back and watch that if you would like. But since this is about the tools, we'll just kind of jump right in there. So this is the main toolbox for work with this rig build system and so a couple of things to note is that the rig build itself is all written in python and the tools are written with PySide 2 so it's got some qt elements in it so with this uh, tool window every icon on here is representative of a separate tool you can click on a tool and open it up within the window you can also uh, break it out into a separate window if you so desire. And you can uh, use the back button or the menu button to go back to the menu. There are some tools that have an additional tool kind of related to that particular aspect of the rig build in it that will open up that tool. So you can either go back or you can go back up to the menu. So just a couple of other options there for you for that. You can also right click and open in a separate window if you so desire. Now I won't go into too much detail about how each of these individual tools work. Uh, just wanna kinda do a, a little overview. But the main principle and idea is that it all kinda stems out of this main workhorse right here which is the rig build tool. And so the idea is that you have a series of functions that are build steps and you can build through the steps, you can save the steps, you can modify the, the character specific data and then save out that data so that then the next time you build all the way through the character, it will pick up that new character specific data. That data can be anything like the skin cluster weights or say you've got four arms or a couple of heads, whatever, uh, the character itself has all that data is character specific it's not contingent in the build script that it has all of that information of how many arms to build and all that kind of stuff within it it can be recorded out separately so it allows you to have a more versatile rig where you can basically use the same rig steps build a human build a centaur build a bird whatever the case may be because the bones of the actual build script are going to be the same it's just the character specific data that might be a little different so each of these folder icons represents a build step that you can open up that file for and you'll see that it updates the ui to know which step you're on you can build uh, an individual step by just clicking the build step button. You can also build all or you can put a stop and build all up to that particular point. At several steps there's also a tool icon which will allow you to open up a tool related to that particular step where you can make adjustments, save the data out, all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of the the main idea with this and so each of these tools in the main toolbox are essentially designed with that in mind so they're not exactly standalone tools that you can just kind of break out and use by themselves they're all designed to be working within this system uh, so some of the tools i've got kind of briefly showed the main rig build tool there's the component manager which is for creating and managing the individual parts of the rig so like the arms the fingers uh, the neck the spine that kind of thing and you have various uh, tools within it to manipulate all those um, there's also the control curve helper which is for changing the shapes and the colors and all that kind of stuff uh, sizes and, and all that of these control curves um, and I'm not going to go into too much detail about all of these because I'm going to do another video where I'll go over basically these top three, the rig build, component manager, and control curve helper, where I kind of take another character model and I'll kind of go through a bit of a rig build process to show some of that. And I'll also probably do one for this uh, skin cluster weight editor, so a separate video for that too. So, But the idea with this tool is that you have 
per control point tweaking that you can do to the weights. And here's a, a tool for just generating a skin cluster. So uh, it allows you to select influences and kind of store them in here and add their mirrored influences and stuff to generate your list of influences for your skin cluster. Uh, hierarchy manager, this is for setting up the initial hierarchy of the rig. So all the parent nodes that are kind of needed for the rig, you can create them, add them in here and record it out so that um, if you had in say your miscellaneous build, which would be for stuff that there isn't really a rig component to handle that particular thing yet, or it's very specific to a character, you can put it in the miscellaneous build. And so you, you may have some parent nodes that you wanna store and have ready, so you can create them there. Uh, object sets, that's for, uh, in this case, I've got a set for all the rig controls and there's some processes that happen uh, down here in the update control space and you know cleaning node names and stuff and optimizing of the rig that clean things out and stuff like that. Uh, Skeleton Manager, this is a tool for creating and uh, manipulating how the skeleton works. So each of the components like the arm, the spine, whatever, they have these various outputs of the different points along that spine and you can create an influence and tell it which matrix you want to actually drive it from the component so that your skeleton can be separate from the actual rig component parts. Uh, so yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good little overview, kind of quick. Uh, hope you found the video interesting. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave any comments. Like I said, I'm gonna have a couple of other videos for these tools. And uh, so please look forward to watching those. All right, thanks for watching and have a blessed day.